Mariupol was an early target of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The assault in the opening weeks was relentless and deadly. The port city on the Sea of Azov was a symbolic and strategic prize for Russia. The siege lasted 86 days. Attacks on the maternity hospital and the drama theater, with hundreds of people inside, exposed Russia's disregard for civilians and the laws of war. The last Ukrainian fighters in Mariupol surrendered in May, but the Russians are still waging a campaign on the city, this time to wipe out all traces of its Ukrainian identity. Street names, monuments, school curriculum, even the currency, all have been replaced. Переписування історії, переписування національної ідентичності. Ну про що казати? Зруйноване місто, що вони роблять? Вони змінюють таблички на домівках з українські на російські. Associated Press journalists were the last international team to leave the city in March. With Mariupol under Russian control for the past eight months, information and access have been limited. But we've been able to detail life under Russian occupation through interviews with more than 30 witnesses and survivors, documents, videos, and satellite imagery. About 50,000 homes and apartments have either been demolished or are slated to come down in the coming weeks and months. 110 Mitropolitska Street is one of them, including the apartment Ina Nepomnyshaya called home. AP witnessed a Russian tank strike her high-rise residential building on March 11th. Neighbors say two women in the corner units were killed. Ina and her family were to shelter when their apartment took a direct hit. Я, конечно, уже потом просто не спала, говорю, не может быть, это он. И я думала честно, что первое, что это как раз угол, а у нас в этом углу стояла кровать, где спала тетя, и окно. Я говорю, господи, я так благодарна зятю, который пришел и забрал нас. Я понимала, что если бы на тот момент мы там были, it wasn't just residential buildings. The majority of Mariupol's healthcare facilities were damaged beyond repair. The airstrike on the maternity wing of Hospital No. 3 struck at some of the city's most vulnerable, pregnant women and newborns. Ivan Kalinin's pregnant wife was carried out of the hospital on a stretcher. She died that night along with their unborn child. There have been no signs of rebuilding the maternity wing. But renovations are underway in other parts of Hospital No. 3 and Hospital No. 2, although most of the medical staff have long since fled. Upwards of 600 people died when the Russians targeted the drama theater, despite the painted sign that there were children sheltering inside. The airstrike left a gaping hole in the heart of the city. The process of clearing debris began weeks after the attack. Now a giant screen surrounds the remaining ruins. Residents fear many of the victims were entombed here. According to reconstruction plans, the Russian government wants to create a new historical center here. На заперечення запереченнями, знов ж таки, розслідування, докази, відео, да, свідчення свідків це одне, а коли ти можеш, що називається, в руки потримати, да, це геть інше для всієї міжнародної спільноти. Вони намагаються зробити так, щоб в разі чого, якщо їм прийдеться, їм прийдеться дікати з Маріуполя, щоб не було що до чого доторкнути. Світлана Чебатарева lives close to the theater. She fled the city but returned a few months ago to retrieve her belongings. She said the Russians expected gratitude with their offer of new apartments. I don't know how to do it. How can they now throw a cup of coffee for a broken house, for a dead people? I don't know what to believe. I don't know. 
Before the war, the population of Mariupol was over 400,000 people. About two-thirds of the residents have fled. Thousands of Russian soldiers, including some who retreated from areas freed by Ukrainian forces, have turned Mariupol into a garrison. Thousands of Russian construction workers have also filled the city. Они стоят практически пустые. Я, они позиционируют их там для своих там военных, там медиков, знаю, там кому. Кое кому дали, действительно квартиры дали. New buildings are going up, but not on the scale of what was destroyed or what is needed. But what Russians have not been able to cover up is the enormous human toll from their invasion. The Stary Krim Cemetery has thousands of new graves dug in trenches and nearly all marked by just numbers. Lydia Erashova watched her five-year-old son and her seven-year-old niece die after a Russian shelling in March. The family fled Mariupol, but returned in July to bury the young cousins in Stary Krim. Не знаю, то есть смешно и глупо, и как восстановить мертвый город, там, где на каждом шагу, извините, люди умирали. More than 25,000 Ukrainians are believed to have been killed in Mariupol. Mass death that even the Russians haven't been able to erase.